Hey everyone, welcome back to Brisk Bites. We are in the section of the Brisk Tools page where we are looking at student interventions. If you haven't been to this main page, you can always find it at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. Now we're looking at these student intervention tools. We've gone through a few, but in this video, we're going to focus on the 504 template maker. If you haven't worked with a student with a 504, um, or if you're looking to reorganize your five schools 504 plans, or perhaps you're generating one for the first time, um, or you're looking to standardize, this can be a great tool to help you just get organized. It truly just is a template that you can plug information into. So let's go ahead and click try it and see what happens next. We're going to get the brisk icon down in the lower right and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to interventions and choose uh, IEP 504 template. From here we're going to get the opportunity to put in some of the students needs, some of the things um, that they might be working on or might need support with in their 504. And I've got some things that might be standard in a student's 504. They're just some things that I personally have encountered before. I'm going to paste them in. I know it looks kind of chunky right here, like just a stream of consciousness, but let's see what Brisk does with this information. Maybe it's something I copied over from an old 504 or uh, from some, some student records from old report cards, things like that in the SIS um, or the student information system. Let's see what happens. I've got a seventh grader building a 504 template and I say Brisk it. Truly what this is going to do is just organize the information. This can be great if your organization is attempting to really streamline the 504s. Maybe right now they all look a little bit different. Uh, everybody's processing the information in a different way and you want to get everybody nice and organized. This can be a great way to do that. Um, or if you've got some new teachers on staff who need help just really getting familiar with how to structure their 504, another great way to do that. So you see what I plugged in is now organized really, really nicely. It's giving me those brackets. So that lets me know where I need to go in and fill in some additional information. Super helpful to me. Um, and of course, I'm always in the driver's seat. Brisk is doing 80% of the, the heavy lift for me with AI and I can go in and fill in all those other areas of need. So a really nice thing to have here, that template that's going to help me stay organized as I work to deliver um, my 504 pro process and program to my students. Thanks for tuning in for this brisk bite. We'll see you for another one soon.